welcome back to today's episode on chemistry made easy with bright edwin in today's video lesson i'll be teaching on allotropy now allotropy is a term that must be noted okay in the study of chemistry and what is allotropy allotropy is a phenomenon whereby an element i said allotropy is a phenomenon whereby an element exists in different forms in the same physical state. Now, what do I mean? It means that allotropy is seen in elements. Now, we have various elements and their allotropic forms. Now, let's quickly talk about them. Like the likes of carbon. Carbon is an element. So, what are the allotropes of carbon? The first or the major of the allotropes of carbon is diamond. Okay, after diamond, we have graphite as another allotropic form of carbon. Okay, carbon exists in different allotropic forms, majorly diamonds and graphite. Now, let's talk about other elements and their allotropes, like the likes of sulfur. Now, sulfur basically exists in different forms, like the likes of rhombic and monoclinic sulfur. Rhombic and monoclinic sulfur. Now, we have other elements like the likes of tin. Now, it must be noted that tin is a metal, and tin is the only metal that exhibits allotropy, okay? The only metal that exhibits allotropy. What are the allotropes of tin? We have the white tea, we have the gray tea, and we have the red tea. Now, let's talk about other elements like the likes of oxygen. Now, oxygen exists in two allotropic forms. The first is dioxygen. That means here we are having two atoms of oxygen, dioxygen. So the symbol becomes O2, whereby the order of the uh, allotropic form of oxygen is called ozone. Ozone. Ozone contains three atoms of oxygen. Now, oxygen is another element that exhibits allotropy, and it must be noted that C is the only metal that exhibits allotropy. Now, let's talk about other elements, like likes of phosphorus. Okay, phosphorus. Now, phosphorus exists in different allotropic forms. We have the likes of the white phosphorus. Okay, the white phosphorus. And we have the likes of the red phosphorus. The white phosphorus and the red phosphorus. It must be noted that white phosphorus has a symbol and it is P4. Basically, and white phosphorus is toxic. Okay, white phosphorus is toxic. Now, these are some basic elements and their allotropes. These elements are very, very important for your jam exam. So you take note of this. Now, it must be noted here that allotropy are of two forms. Okay, allotropy is divided into two forms. The first is called monotropy, and the other is called enatio. Enatiotropy. Now, what do we mean by monotropy? In monotropy, there is no transition temperature. It must be noted that in monotropy, there is no transition temperature. I'm going to explain. There is no transition temperature, but in enatiotropy, there is transition temperature. Now, what do I mean by this? It must be noted here that transition temperature is that temperature whereby an allotropic form of an element can move to another form of that same element. Now, this is what I mean. For example, Rhombic sulfur and monoclinic sulfur. We have a temperature whereby monoclinic sulfur can change to rhombic sulfur. And that temperature 
is 96 degrees Celsius. So it must be noted here that it must be noted here that monoclinic sulfur can change the rhombic sulfur. And that temperature at which it happens is called transition temperature. And it is seen when we are talking about enantiotropy. And it must be noted here that the transition temperature of where monoclinic sulfur changes to rhombic or rhombic changes to monoclinic is 96 degrees Celsius. Take note, carbon does not have any what now transition temperature. So basically, carbon will be under which part of allotropy? Will it be monotropy or enantiotropy? Monotropy because carbon does not have any transition temperature, but sulfur has. Sulfur can change. Basically, monoclinic sulfur can change to rhombic sulfur. Basically, temperature 96 degrees Celsius. So that temperature is called the transition temperature. I believe now you now understand the term called allotropy. Do well to subscribe to this channel and share my videos with your friends. Thanks for watching. God bless you all.